What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this brief video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. So, I would like to say good evening to each and every one of you out here. Tonight's going to be a brief video. Just my own personal thoughts on a couple of things that transpired. But before I get started, I would like you guys to go ahead and check my girl out. The Goddess TV. The Light Goddess TV. And if you're unsure how to spell that because the TV is capitalized, please take your time and go to my community and click on it. And it'll tell you exactly how it's spelled. So when you go on YouTube and you try to type it in, you'll know how to find it. These very videos are very informative and helpful and it's not just about for us it's for the younger youth that's under us it is so many things that are going on that are negative that a lot of young females in the generations to come they have no substance they have nothing to look up to no blueprint because there are so many of like onions around here that are lost causes because we have people like nasty Nate that are standing behind her period and that's all that matters so that's why I promote my homegirl so much because there's a lot of people out here that before they become like on you they they have a chance and these videos are very helpful it's like these next generations of influencers, rappers, they have no type of values, moral standards, decency. And before it gets to that next level and that point, I will want our youth, if anything, to at least know that they have a better outlet and better opportunities out there for them. And they do not have to conduct themselves in that manner to be noticed or valued. Because at the end of the day, if we're honest with ourselves, out of all the money that Laonya allegedly makes, out of her getting her body done, out of the home, the gifts, the things that she has done in her relationships, at the end of the day, let's ask ourselves this question. What high value man is lined up at Laonya's door trying to date her, trying to court her? trying to be serious with the mother of four that does not even take herself serious, let alone her kids, her soon to be marriage, her platform that she sabotages daily. She goes back and forth contradicting herself. One minute she's wearing a cross, the next minute she's half naked. It's just no man of any value that wants something out of life that's seeking a woman a life partner will look at this woman and say, hey, that woman right there will make a good wife. That woman right there will make a good mother. She will be a great stepmother over my children, a great influence. The only way Lyonya will be looked at and plenty more other females that are just like Lyonya is for a good time and that's exactly how she promotes herself. So it's very important that everyone pays attention to not only how she promotes herself, but how her people stand behind her no matter what, period. And that right there to me is the main reason why she is out of control now and she feels as though she can't be stopped because no matter how much garbage she puts out here, no matter how many things she does that are wrong, negative, that are bad influences, not only on her kids, but other kids out here. She's an influencer. She has a platform. These people said they're standing 10 toes down, period. So let's ask ourselves this question. Who's going to hold Lyonya accountable for any of the wrongdoing that she has done and continues to do? If we have her yes men saying, period. You have to be very immature in your mind frame as an adult has not reached the level of 
understanding because anyone in their right mind would have a long time ago jumped off a light on your train that's going off the track. That's the direction it's heading in. Anybody can see that. And you're still on there encouraging, coaching, motivating, inspiring. At the end of the day, what's the meaning behind it? What are you inspiring her to do? Continue to ruin her reputation? Continue to traumatize her children that have to see their mother acting in this light? And what bothered me so bad today, and I was not going to do a video today. This one's going to be brief, but I had to speak on it. It disturbed me so bad to see her dropping her daughter off of school this morning. Her youngest daughter. And anyone knows, any mother knows that you want to have good energy. You want to leave your kids off on a positive note in the morning. You want them soothed, comfortable. Because you know how you start your day and the tone you set it is going to be how you interact throughout the day. She's not old enough, her youngest daughter, to understand that. So if her mom is playing loud music, dancing and talking so loud, like, let's ask ourselves this question. That's what lets me know that she's not in her right state of mind. She's going through some type of alleged manic episode. What person in their right mind at 7 o'clock in the morning every day going to get in a car with their toddler that clearly needs to be put in a proper seat, laughing loud, singing loud, encouraging them to state these lyrics that are probably inappropriate for her? When have you had any type of nursery rhymes on, even though she's young? Something that consists of singing the ABCs, counting. You can put that in. You could put that on your phone. You could play that out loud. Your life, your world, and your kids are just in it. Everyone around you is just centered around you. Nothing is for the better of the people for them to grow. These little human beings are dependent on you. And early in the morning, you are blasting music so loud. And you're telling her to get it. What are you teaching your youngest daughter? What mood are you setting for her? What tone are you setting for her? She's going to school. She needs calmness. She needs soothingness. You're like this 24 seven. You're like a jackal in a box, Mr. High all day long. You don't come down from it. Like if someone is in their right mind like this 24 seven, but their house Lacks of being clean, lacks of order, lacks of discipline, trash is still hanging over. All the basic things, the basic needs around the house, the basic necessities that are lacking. But they have all the time and the energy to try to push out content to prove and show the world. Not only now she's trying to prove to her ex, she's trying to prove to John, she's trying to prove to the people across the street, as well as her people and the other people that are looking on. She's trying to show a brave face. But at the end of the day, we see that the more you yell loud, the more you blast the music, the more you talk and dance obnoxiously, obnoxiously, the more we see straight through your mask that's slowly slipping. You can't even pull it back up anymore. You are sending your daughter in the school with this high energy. What if she was the type of kid that was hitting? What if this music set the tone for her to go in there and bounce up and down, nonstop with the kids? What if she was that type of kid? And what are you doing to her? You are ruining her before she even gets a chance to get started. Early in the morning, who wants to hear their mom yelling, blasting, dancing to music? Your kids probably were embarrassed to even see you pull up to the school with this music so loud. And each and every one of you older women over there, you think this is acceptable? You think this is cool and this is okay? And then what are everyone in the comment section saying? I wish I had that type of energy. It's early in the morning. Get some energy to clean your freaking house. Get some energy to comb your kids' hair. 
Get some energy to be a mother and stop self-loving, self-caring, and trying to prove to the world that you're fine. Stop pouring all that energy into a man and pour it into yourself so you can be a better mother for your children. So you can put out some real content and be an actual influencer instead of influencing people down a road of destruction, a path of nowhere. Because that's exactly where you're going to end up. Wake up, people. I'm out.